Brontorina by James Howe. Brontorina had a dream. I want to dance. But you are a dinosaur, Madame Lucille pointed out. True, bon Brontorina replied, but in my heart, I am a ballerina. She is too big, and she does not have the right shoes. Madame Lucille wondered what to do. She had never had a dinosaur as a student before. Dinosaurs were rather large, and this one certainly did not have the right shoes. But then she felt Clara and Jack tugging at her skirt. Oh, please, they pleaded. Madame Lucille looked into the dinosaur's eyes. What is your name, my dear? Brontorina, Brontorina Apatosaurus. I even sound like a dancer. Don't you agree? Madame Lucille did agree. How could she not? Welcome to Madame Lucille's Dance Academy for girls and boys, she said. Please try not to squash the other dancers. Music, Magnolia, she commanded the piano player. As Magnolia began to play, Madame Lucille turned her commands to her students. Plie, relevé, arabesque, jeté. What a graceful dancer you are, my dear, Madame Lucille exclaimed. Brontorina blushed. On the outside, I am a dinosaur, but in my heart, you are a ballerina cried Clara and Jack. She still doesn't have the right shoes. In the weeks that followed, look out, help. Hey, watch your tail. The piano. Oh, Brontorina, cried Madame Lucille. I'm afraid you are too big to be a ballerina. You barely fit in my studio. And how in the world will a male dancer ever lift you over his head? I could do it, Jack shouted. No, my dear, said Madame Lucia with a sigh. You could not. I told you she was too big. A tear fell from Brontorina's eye. Downcast, she turned to leave. Wait, Clara called out. Don't go. My mother has been working on a surprise for you all week. She is bringing it today. Whatever are you talking about, Madame Lucille asked Clara. Just then, Clara's mother appeared at the door. You must be Brontorina, she said, holding out the surprise. I hope these will fit. Well, now she has the right shoes. Brontorina beamed. They fit perfectly, she cried. I am a ballerina, or I would be, if only I weren't so big. Oh, fiddlesticks, said Madame Lucille. Why didn't I see it before? The problem is not that you are too big. The problem is that my studio is too small. And so the whole class went off to look for a studio big enough to hold all of Brontorina's talent. Too small? Too small. Still too small? Still too small. I have an idea. Now Madame Lucille's Dance Academy had room for everyone. I want to dance. Then you must, my dear. Madame Lucille's Outdoor Dance Academy for girls and boys and dinosaurs and cows. Shoes all sizes. And it all began with a dream.